Have you ever wondered what it truly means to be conscious? Is consciousness a product of the brain or does it embody something far beyond our neural networks? Join me as we dig into this fascinating world of consciousness and explore different philosophical perspectives on this mind-bending topic. Welcome back to where we unravel the complex questions of philosophy, one idea at a time. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as you really help me with the YouTube algorithm. First, let's define consciousness. Consciousness is often described as the state of being aware and being able to think and perceive one's surroundings, thoughts and emotions. But as we will soon see, various philosophers and scientists have different perspectives on the true nature of consciousness. One prominent view in modern philosophy is materialism, which argues that consciousness arises from the complex processes in our brain. According to these perspectives, our thoughts, emotions and perceptions are simply the product of neural activity. But does this fully explain the richness and depth of our subjective experiences? Another key aspect of consciousness is the notion of the self. We experience the world through our own unique lens that shapes our sense of identity. But what exactly is the self? Some philosophers argue that it's an illusion, while others believe it's an essential part of our conscious experience. So let's explore these ideas further. René Descartes, a prominent 17th century philosopher, believed that the mind and the body were two distinct entities, giving rise to the concept of dualism. For Descartes, the mind was a non-material entity, responsible for our conscious experiences, while the body was the physical vessel. This idea raises the question, how do the mind and the body interact? Can this separation truly explain consciousness? An alternative view is panpsychism, which posits that consciousness is a fundamental and universal aspect of reality. This perspective suggests that everything in the universe, from atoms to complex organisms, has some form of consciousness. But how can we make sense of this idea? Does it provide a more comprehensive understanding of consciousness? As we have seen, the nature of consciousness is a complex and highly debated topic in philosophy. From the role of the brain and the self to the more esoteric concepts of dualism and panpsychism, understanding consciousness remains an intriguing challenge. What do you think about these perspectives? Thank you for joining me on this journey through the nature of consciousness. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep exploring philosophical ideas, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until the next time, keep questioning and seeking answers.